fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hotbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shah said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mech Shah. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Walls. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Beak's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Dharma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gun runners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Veek or Indigo. Simple enough. Thank you for your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All we see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things. Who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. Then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy the speech?
I think you're one good blockade away from realizing who's actually in charge. You think you can spare the ships it would take? How many planets would you be willing to lose to prove a point? Puffing up your chest at me won't get you anywhere. In the meantime, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me, and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes. I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, Mitawider, Jedi Knight. It's so rare that we can step away from the war for a peaceful chat. Just because nobody's shooting at each other yet, doesn't mean the war isn't here. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it. You have nothing to fear from me, Jedi. We'll see. Master Jedi. See you around.